Hello and welcome to another video from windowslovers.com. This is me, your host, Prajwal, and today I'm going to show you where you can find the Windows 10 starter folder. So let's get started. Finding the starter folder was very easy until Windows 10. Windows 7, Windows 8.1, it was quite simple. You could just go to start and then you could find your starter folder from here. So that's not the case anymore with Windows 10, but it's not that tough either. All right. So before we get started, there's three different ways you can open the starter folder depending on what you are after. You can either open the starter folder of the currently logged on user or you can open the starter folder for all the users that log on to the system or you can open the starter folder for a specific user all right so first let's see how you can open the starter folder for the current logged on user hit the windows and r key and type in shell colon startup and hit the enter so now this folder is the starter folder for the user that's currently logged in. All right. So if you put anything in the starter folder, it will run for this user. Let's see if you want to open the starter folder for all the users or any user that logs into this computer and has an account on this computer or on this domain. All right. So go back to the windows R, bring up the run and type in shell common space and then startup. So it's shell colon common space startup. If you hit the enter key, now this folder is for any users or any user that logs into this computer and will have this program or anything added to the startup when they log in. The third option is to open the startup folder for a specific user. For that, open the file explorer, go to C drive or any drive where the operating system is installed go to users so now find the user which you would like to open the starter folder for right so let's say i want to open the starter folder for windows lovers what i'm going to do before that is you're going to click on view and you're going to make sure that the hidden items is ticked all right so after that's done you'll open the user go to the app data so if you haven't ticked the hidden items you won't see this folder click on the app data click on roaming I'll also leave the exact path in the description below. So if it's difficult to follow up, just make sure you check the descriptions. It will be the exact folder there. And go to Microsoft, go to Windows, go to Startup, and go to Programs, and then Startup. So this folder is the Startup folder for Windows lovers specifically. So if, let's say if I add a program here, this will only start at the startup for Windows lovers or whoever the user you have logged in or whoever the user you've added this program to. All right, so that's how you open the Windows 10 startup folder specific for users or a common startup folder. I also want to show you how you can manage the startup applications as well on Windows 10. Um, it's quite simple. It's quite easy. So you go to type here to search and search for startup apps. Click on it. And it gives you the list of applications that are currently on startup, but it might be turned on or it might be turned off. So if you want to change that, you can just toggle the button from here and then you can turn it off or turn it on. All right. So what I would suggest is to make sure that any of the application that has high impact, um, you just double check and make sure that those applications are re required for Windows to load normally. If they're not and if they can run afterwards, you can turn them off. So I have my Razer Synapsys um, Algovial Tech which is on VMware Tray. I can turn this off if I want. I can turn the Logitech Download Assistant off if I want. Um, I can turn the Razer Synapsys off if I want. Um, I've got um, the Realtek Audio Manager which I want. Uh, Windows security notification icon. I can definitely let that leave that on. All right, so that's all the startup apps I have. All right, there might be more which might be in the startup folder, but if you want to add a application to the start, you would have to copy them to the startup folder specific on your needs. So that's how you find the startup folder in Windows 10. I hope this helped. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you. <laughs>